I think a lot of people feel that way. Closer to home, the basketball season still isn't over for one San Diego school. Helix Charter earning a trip to Sacramento courtesy an 80-69 win over Fresno's Emmanuel High. That was on Saturday night. So that means the Highlanders will play for a state title this coming Saturday against St. Patrick St. Vincent's. They're the Bruins. That will be at inside the King's Place in uh, Sacramento. All right, I need my other right-hand scripts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to... <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're fired. Okay, I am joined now by eight members of the Helix Scotty basketball team. Let's uh, we'll get to the marquee guys. Let's start with uh, the back row. Please say your name, pass it along. What's up? I'm Carson Baker. I play quarterback, also a small forward. And you can follow me on Twitter at cbakes9. What's up? I'm Jalen Henson, aka Scooter, as the team calls me, and I play shooting guard or point guard. Hi, my name's Amari Green, point guard. Follow me on Instagram at Amari Green Four. <laughs> Yo, I'm Dylan Lee, shooting guard, Helix basketball. Follow me on Snapchat, Dylan So Wavy. You feel me? Marcus Holmes, forward. Maurice Holmes, forward. <laughs> All right. And then the two marquee guys that are uh, probably see, get a lot of the airtime on our air. Our, Miles Norris, uh, formerly of Modern Day and now a forward, and Jalen Arnold, who is football fame and of also. Uh, basketball fame. Gentlemen, thank you for making the uh, trip in. We appreciate it. Uh, to be SoCal Regional Champs, it sounds really, really good, but I suspect there's another title you want to have, right? Uh, of course. Okay, just expand on that a little bit. What would it mean to be a state champion? Um, well, it's an honor to play in the state in the state title game, but I'm, I'm pretty excited to play in, this, in the state championship game. All right, Jalen, we're going to look at some video from last Saturday. Uh -huh. Can you talk about how your home court became a home court advantage in the last... I mean, it was getting loud, was it not? Oh, yes, yeah, so it was very loud. I mean, our student section, we call, call them the doghouse, and they were very rowdy on Saturday night. And they were, they, the whole time, this whole playoffs, we had the whole, whole court advantage, so it's just been great. This At what time. point did you think you had it put away uh, Saturday? I say when we made that run, when I, uh, Isaiah Wooden came in, shout out to him, and he came in and gave us that spark that we needed. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to show some video of this guy right here. Uh -huh. I want you to tell the world what makes Mr. Norris such a such a five-star athlete. Uh, every, just his his height, especially on the court, he's a, he's a decoy, and just... Everybody pays attention to him so much and it opens up uh, rebounds, offensive rebounds for a lot of other people. And it's that crazy hook shot that he has, the, trust, <laughs> the trusty hook shot, it always, always falling in. And Miles, we're going to run some video of this young man, Jalen Arnold. Tell us why he is such a versatile athlete. Well, Jalen is such a versatile, why is he such a versatile athlete? Yeah, why, why, why is he a good basketball player? Um, because Jalen, he's always trying to work, he's always in the gym working no matter what. Even after game day, even if he's tired and whatnot, he's always trying to get the team involved and get a workout in. There's something to be said about a team getting hot at the right time. You guys are on a 22-game roll. Do you remember, the, when was the last time you lost a basketball game? I think back in the Mount Carmel tournament. And who was not lose, there? <laughs> so you have not lose lost as a Helix Scotty, right? No, no. You, so uh, before we... Uh, you let his head get too big. Could you guys talk <laughs> about these guys back here and why, how important they are? Uh, they, all of us right here, we're just a family, man, and that's what it's been since last year. And these two new guys have joined in and just helped us out so much, and that's, we're just a brotherhood. It wasn't that long ago we had a kid by the name of Aaron Burgeon in uh, in studio. He is, you guys all know him. You probably follow him on Twitter. He's a, he's a renowned prep expert, and he said it's going to be this coming recruiting season <laughs> that a big name player was going to stay close to home. Guess who he was talking about? Is that going to happen? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll make my decision probably at the end of this, at the end of the year. What's it like when Coach Fisher's watch you guys play? Is that is that a hoot? It's great. Yeah, it's, great. Yeah, it's, great. it's a great yeah. opportunity to play in front of the SESU coach. All right, so uh, you guys, we, we took, we drew up this graphic. You had the advantage of playing at home on Saturday night. Take a look now at the. Uh, you're going to have to go 526 miles. St. Patrick, St. Vincent's going to go 58. How much of a disadvantage is that going to be for you? Are you going to borrow the uh, cathedral airplane? I wish. <laughs> I wish so. They should. Hey, cathedral, go let us. Uh, let us use it. <laughs> Uh, so is that going to be a hard thing to be on the dog that long? Um, we're going. I think we're going up on Thursday, so I think we have we have a lot of time to. And, and we're going to be able to get a practice in over at uh, Sac State. Which, so. And then you're also going to be playing your game inside an NBA. Mm -hmm. Has anyone played a basketball game inside an NBA facility before? No. So what do you know about the Kings' place? 
Um, it's big. I'm just excited to play there. Well, I, I bet you are. And it, do we know any? Have you looked at St. Patrick's St. Vincent? Do we know how good they are? Uh, I think I saw a couple of clips of them. They're pretty. They're pretty good. So it's gonna be a good game. They're only a school of 600. You got to figure then 50 of those kids came from <laughs> somewhere else to, exactly. <laughs> to get their spiritual education. All right. Exactly. Uh, how much time do we have left? We have a minute left. Can you diagram for us your best play? Oh, yes, let's go. Let's get go, on, let's get go, on the court. Go. We're going to go, 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 go on to the court. Oh. What, what's this called, Jalen? It's called your team oh, right oh, here. Yeah. Your team play right here. Oh, yeah. All right, let's set it up. Set it up. I'm set on the wing. I'm on the wing. Hey, ref, check it in. Check it in, ref. Check it in. Let's go. Hey, your team. Your team. Yeah. All screen, screen. Oh, yeah, Amari. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, that's a quick look at the Helix Scotties as they're going to be going Saturday up to Sacramento to bring home a state title. If they do it, we'll have the whole team here next. That's a quick look at sports. We'll have more coming your way coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. Back to my esteemed colleagues on the news desk.